Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Open Talk. In today's episode, our guest is Wahid Al Khan, the pioneer in music, composing, and music education. He established the Classic Institute of Music in 1986, which is one of the first music institutes in Bahrain, where many well-known talented Bahrainis had received their music education. The Classic Institute of Music had continued its mission for 20 years and shall come back again in a new form soon. Wahid Al Khan is the only musician who had won the award of the Royal Crown Prince for Scientific Research and he has also established the first professional audio recording studio of its kind and size in 1989. Welcome to our program, Mr. Wahid Al Khan. Thank you very much. Thank to you for interviewing me. Uh, the pleasure. Uh, can you tell me to start with? Can you tell me about your return? Well, this is a, a new experiment, if you like. Uh, it's a composition that I was planning for for many, many years. Okay. Uh, the composition is made uh, for the uh, elite. Mm -hmm. When we say elite, it is the top. Uh, range of music okay. when you compose for a, a philharmonic orchestra mm -hmm. it is something totally different than the normal composition uh, it's not easy it's difficult I've been working on it many years I will come back to the name why it is why did I name it um, the return okay well I must say that uh, Bahrain especially Bahrain mm -hmm. is very well equipped with uh, such calibers for composition and I think it is time that myself and my colleagues who are really capable of doing sim similar things to come up with their compositions and do it although it is not easy but I'm sure that such kind of music it will reach it will reach the whole world um, it is made as I said for a philharmonic orchestra and it is not easy very few people with uh, certain calibers can do this mm -hmm simply because uh, there's no room for amateurs in this. Starting from the composition, he has to be a very professional, well-educated, uh, ending uh, with the musicians. Each performer cannot be uh, an amateur. Okay. Only professionals can do this. Playing in a philharmonic orchestra, you know, it's not easy or it's also pleasure to, to be with the professors and the top rank of musician playing with you, uh, it's, it's totally different. 
different than what I've been doing many years ago. Sometimes we've been doing popular music, sometimes musicals, sometimes documentaries, but uh, doing a music for uh, a philharmonic orchestra is totally different. Well, the name. Okay. Why the return? Uh, the, the name The Return is uh, named after one of the pieces which is uh, made uh, to describe the, uh, the return of His Majesty Sheikh Isa bin Ali. Okay. When he came, I don't remember exactly the year, came to Bahrain on a, a dhow, a ship. Uh, it's actually, let me go back, how do I do my music? Okay. The way I did this album is simply different than a normal composition. It's not based on simple themes. First of all, it is international. Mm -hmm. It's made for international tastes and ears, but it is very much with Bahraini flavor. So it is Bahraini. Uh, the name, The Return, I had made, uh, normally all the music which I make is based on a, a vision, okay. a story in my mind. I create a story with a target. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's historical. And then I build my music on it. It's the other way around. Normally people do music for films or things like that, the other way around. Mm -hmm. But I'm creating the, the story or the vision. Okay. Then I make the music for it. Therefore, my music is very much panoramic. You can see things mm -hmm. while you listen to music. And if you know this story, you will understand more. However, soon we are going to work on the video production okay. for each piece of music, which will give it more depth. Beautiful. And we're waiting and working on, on that, that level. Let me go back to the return. It's, as I said, the return of uh, His Majesty Sheikh uh, Isa bin Ali, mm -hmm. the uh, great grandfather of our uh, king, mm -hmm. His, His Majesty the King. So it is. This piece of music is one of a kind by itself. Accordingly, the return is a very nice name, his return to Bahrain. And uh, having people on the other side waiting for him and spreading the news, so it's very dramatic. The name was very nice. Also, it reflects my return to the music. Nice. I've been a little bit away from music, taken by business. So now I decided to give uh, most of my time to music. It's it's a beautiful piece. I have I have heard just it was a minute, but it's it's beautiful, well, and I'm you. sure everyone out there would love would love to hear the whole track. I hope so. I hope so, so. Can you tell me what is your favorite track, the favorite work that you have done from the from your old uh, from your old uh, albums? Well, I've been doing a lot of things, okay. really. But all the time I've been behind the scenes. Okay. I was not uh, attracted by popular songs. Mm -hmm. I was doing uh, documentaries. I was doing a lot of music for the TV, mainly Bahrain TV. Okay. So naturally, you cannot have your name and or title under the, the works. I've been doing most of the music for Bahrain TV since the time of the former Minister of uh, Information, Tarak al okay. starting from the signal of uh, the broadcast starting, the news, and many episodes of many other mm -hmm. things. Uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, plays, mm -hmm. mainly children, nice. grown up these days, and they remember. I think I, I did a very good job. And then I've been doing some documentaries. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I did a documentary in 2010. The name uh, of the documentary for is uh, The Loyalty, Day of Loyalty, okay. and so on. Nice. So you cannot find me in the popular music field, not much. So can you tell me about how many tracks will you be having in your new album? The, the Nine. Nine. Yes. And uh, so could you tell me the stories behind those few of those nine tracks? Well, there are many stories. Some of them are uh, personal, and but we treated it so it will be international. One of them is interesting. Okay. Uh, the name of it is the tree, and this one unfortunately has no flavor of Bahrain except the tree, okay. the palm tree.
it's a story of a boy, uh, a boy of eight years old okay. with a short, always coming back from the school, playing with his dog around a certain tree in their house. Okay. That was myself, actually. Okay, nice. Uh, he loved this tree, and there was a special bond between him and this tree specifically. On a Friday, he woke up and he saw his father brought many people to cut this tree off. Have you seen a tree being cut off? A palm tree? No. I really. hope you will not. No. It's very painful. I'm sure it is. It's very painful. So they started to cut, chop off the, the tree, the leaves first, then cut, 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 until they reached to the last part of it. And that was very painful too because they started to pull this part while you hear the sound of the roots. Okay. The palm tree has big, thick roots. Mm -hmm. When you hear the sound, I still can hear it in my ears. So this is the story. He saw this, and while they cut off everything, he was crying. Okay. He had uh, a seed of a palm date okay. in his hand, as if he will never let go. He planted this seed in water. You know, the palm tree doesn't grow very quickly. Yes. So it grows up. He put it in another land, in another uh, soil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't grow up fast. Take very long time. Some trees do that. They don't grow very fast. Yeah. So he decides when he grow up to go back to the same. He, he loves this tree. Okay. There's a special one like his baby. He brings the tree back to the same land. He uh, put it in the same land. Doesn't grow goes yellow, pales off, he gets sick. And the soil, uh, when he tests it, it's not the same soil as before. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say that the land changes, people change. change. So it happens, unfortunately, very dramatic, that he gets very sick, the tree gets sick, sick, and he dies, the tree dies. So the music is a little bit emotional, mm -hmm. a little bit dramatic, but it is very effective. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Knowing knowing the one of the st the stories of one of the tracks, this is. It, I'm sure even the music would be very touching when you when you hear it. So, so could would that be one of your favorite tracks? Well, this is no no all all of them are my babies. Okay. So no, there are many different types. One of them is called our vals. It's also built around a, a folk. Uh, game, play, mm -hmm. okay. or song, and the, it grows up. I, I'm not using the, the folk song uh, to be uh, uh, to, to, to do arrangements around it. I'm just using it to serve a purpose okay. uh, of a place or of a story. Mm -hmm. For example, this one, the vals, it's built around uh, a game. Okay. This game is the, s the love story of the two kids. Okay. Until they grow up and they have the vals, their own vals with each other. They right. lose each other. It's a long story. They lo lose each other and then when they meet, they dance with each other. A vals. Nice. A modern vals. That's nice. Mm. So, um, can you tell me the, about the uh, having the Bahrain uh, Musical Institute back? 
uh, how important we have seen a lot of a lot of youth that are into music and how important is that well I believe it's very important um, day after day I meet people that they studied in my uh, school some of them are uh, becoming very uh, uh, famous mm -hmm. we have Noor Al Qasim she is a, a very fine pianist and now he, she's finishing her studies in Vienna nice. the conservatory and many other graduates who continued in uh, conservatories and they are professionals now in the market so I'm uh, very glad to see that I have uh, you know made something I did do something and, and it was really uh, uh, fruitful when you see these people remembering everything and still performing uh, it, it's something important for the country each country should have a proper music school of course. well it's good that we have some other music school followed mine mm -hmm. they are doing the standard uh, classical teaching mm -hmm. uh, I'm planning to do something different Adafa. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking of something a bit not a bit totally different okay. than what I've been doing before it's very very modern mm -hmm. it should serve a lot of uh, musicians and am uh, amateurs or hobbyers or whatever we're waiting for some formalities okay. to start. Well, we would love to see that. Inshallah. So would you like to say any last words to our viewers out there? Well, yes, I hope that uh, people will listen to this music. It's not a kind of music that you hear one time. Mm -hmm. It's not short, though. It's some of them are f five minutes, some of them are uh, seven minutes. This kind of music needs to be heard and played more than one time because there are many many lines mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure that the musicians will realize many important things in this kind of music I wish to hear also some comments for from the expats uh, non-arabic speaking non-arabs about this music already I received many okay soon I hope that uh, there, there are some pre preparation to make a concert in Budapest and a concert nice. in Russia in uh, Moscow so I would like my people in this country to tell me what they feel when they hear this music because it truly it is Bahraini. It is international though. But, but has I, I heard that it has a Bahraini touch. Yeah. You did? Yes. So this is beautiful. what I want to reach. This is my goal. It's beautiful. It's, it, you, your work is it's really very beautiful. Like every piece that I heard, it's, it had a wonder you could feel that it has a, me a wonderful meaning behind it. You feel the, the panoramic scenery. Exactly, okay. yes. It's, that's, it's beautiful. That's my target. I think I achieved and I, it. I would love, I would love to see, see, you, see your work here in the National Theater. would love to see Hopefully. that. Hopefully. We are uh, planning to release the, the album, inshallah, in, uh, after Ramadan sometime. Okay, inshallah. Wish you all the best. Thank you. And thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you. Once again, our guest today was Waheed Al Khan the talented Bahraini musician, composer. Stay tuned for the release of his new album. Thank you for watching Open Talk and have a good evening.